Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing part two of my get ready with me for Zoom meeting. The first Zoom meeting makeup that I did was a soft glam, more on the glam side of the makeup. But for today it's going to be a more uh, natural 10 minute easier makeup that you could do. So I hope you guys like it and let's get started with the video. So in California, it's really hot right now. I'm definitely gonna prime my face today because I want my uh, foundation to last a bit longer for the meeting that I'll be having. So I'll be using this Caprice Antioxidant Dew. I got this primer through BoxyCharm when I used to have BoxyCharm. I loved it when I signed up for BoxyCharm. It's just I stopped it because I already have so much makeup and I get new makeup like every single month from BoxyCharm. So it was just like I didn't have enough storage. That was the only reason. <laughs> now, for my foundation, I'll be going in with the Uoma foundation. I saw on a lot of bloggers videos that they've been loving this foundation and I agree with them. It has a very natural but long wearing consistency and it's super light on your skin so you don't really feel that you have foundation on. For those of you who don't like wearing foundation, you can just skip this step and go right in to concealer. One fact is that this foundation does oxidize so you might want to consider getting a shade tone like lighter or half tone lighter. I really can't feel anything on my face. The heat wave in California is real. I tried not to use my AC today but I failed terribly, miserably because, guys, my house was 85 degrees. That's inhumane. Make sure to blend it down your neck. If you guys seen me do my makeup for a while now, uh, you guys know that if I wear foundation, I tend to not wear any concealer. I do either or. It's like I never do both unless I'm going out. For contour, I'll be taking my favorite Milk Matte Bronzer and just contour and bronze at the same time. I think I'm forgetting how to socialize nowadays. <laughs> I'm so bad with meeting new people now. Not that I've met any new people much, but like <sighs> I was awkward to begin with. I feel like I've become even more awkward. I didn't even know that I could get even more awkward given how awkward I was before. I love how seamlessly this bronzer blends and contours my face. You'll notice today that I'll be going in with mostly uh, powder, I mean cream products because when it's hot and when it uh, when I want that natural look cream products tend to make your face look more dewy like I was born like this type of a way that's why I'm using cream products now for blush I'll be using the Patrick Ta dewy no her shade I just I fell in love with this blush duo he absolutely did amazing I thought that since I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup, my skin would be super, super clear by now. But no, they want to betray me like this. So what the heck? I'm just gonna wear makeup. Love your skin, you give your skin a break. But if they decide to betray like this, stab my back like this, I'm wearing makeup. I've been also drinking a lot of water. 
My friends know that I don't drink water. I've been drinking two, three bottles of these. This is not, this is not little. This is a lot. Peep these stickers. Ooh, these really stickers, these mantra stickers. So my mom knows, my old friends know, you know who you are. I hoard stickers. I think I have stickers from when I'm two, when I was like in second grade. So, yeah. Oh, and Kuya Wear is my favorite brand, like clothing brand. It's super simple, it's pre-shrunk, the design is simple, the quality is good, service is amazing, the owners are amazing. I think whenever they have a new launch, I buy like three, four. <laughs> I've been really loving this technique that Patrick Ta did, putting down the powder first and then going over it with the cream. See how dewy my skin looks? Of course, I'm going to powder it, but it's just like a really good way to make your face look dewy without highlighter. I'm just taking my Fenty Beauty powder and setting the under eye, my eyelids, the nose, just everywhere that I get excessively oily. So recently I purchased this soap brow from Amazon and I already did it on my brows and I love the effect that it gives my brows because I don't have brows. The little things that I have, it's microbladed. <laughs> But I only have some brow hair like in the front and I love how bushy and like bushy for me <laughs> It gives my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna slightly fill in my brows with my ColourPop brow pencil For the eyes, I'm going to be using my old kind of fave palette. It's the Anastasia Prism palette I bought this because how vibrant the colors are and I never play with vibrant colors but as my collection got bigger, I never used things so I wanted to use these corally shades for my eyelids Anastasia eyeshadows are so pigmented but there are a lot of powder fallout so if you don't mind that, these are a great palette Mm, to darken up, deepen up my eyes, I'll be taking this brown. It blends so easily. Ta da! And for the under. For the fun part, I'll be using this sphere shade, this electric neon yellow green in the inner corner. It's subtle, but it's there and it's fun. And to make it spark a bit more, I'm gonna apply this pyramid shade on top of the sphere shade. That's it for the eyeshadow. And for my eyeliner, my trusty NYX retractable eyeliner. Today I'm going to draw a thicker liner, but shorter. Uh, I broke it. For my mascara, I'll be using the Il Maquillage Mascara in Icon. It's a brown mascara. I think I want to apply a bit more blush. Taking the cream and just stabbing over that area. When you powder your face, blush tends to fade a little. I think this is a very, like, it's a colorful look but it's super wearable, so, and you're very put together. I think it's perfect for a Zoom meeting. Spraying my face with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic, I cannot say this, Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray. It smells amazing. For my highlighter, I'll be using my Dior Backstage Glow Palette. The shade I'll be using today is the Glitter Strobe Pink on my nose, the eyebrows, cupids. 
in with what's left just the high points the glow is real now for the lips i'm using the fenty beauty the gloss in what is this glaze i love this shade and here you go this is a soft easy 10 minute glam that you can do for your zoom meeting facetime meeting whatever meeting you have online and pair it with some earrings necklaces and your shirt i don't know what you want to wear but like anything you want to pair with the makeup um i think this is a fun look that you could do and it's pretty professional so i hope you guys like this makeup look and i'll see you in my next video bye I just got a message from my new dude Why you act question